Visitor arrivals to Singapore plummeted to 2.7 million last year, the lowest in about four decades. Last year's arrivals nearly all took place during the first two months of the year and the total number is a drop of 85.7% from arrivals in the whole of 2019. Now, These numbers, of course, follow unprecedented global travel restrictions and border closures amid the COVID-19 pandemic. We're happy to welcome STB's Chief Executive, Keith Tan, to the show. So welcome, Keith. Uh, 2.74 million visitor arrivals in 2020, a drop of nearly 86% year-on-year. A decline was expected with Singapore imposing border restrictions since March. But did you expect uh, this big a drop? Well, the numbers are not a huge surprise, considering mm. that we effectively close our borders to nearly all forms of international tourism uh, from March onwards. So no, we, they don't come as a huge surprise at all. In fact, a lot of the numbers, the big number is due to uh, the record levels of tourism we saw in January 2020. So that has propelled the numbers. Otherwise, the decline would have been even worse. And Keith, uh, vaccination programs are being rolled out worldwide, but Singapore's travel green lanes were recently cancelled. Now, it goes to show how fluid the pandem uh, pandemic continues to be and how quickly we must adapt. Are you more optimistic or pessimistic of seeing signs of recovery this year? In this industry, one always has to be hopeful. Uh, we are hopeful also because that we see a lot of political will across different governments around the world uh, undertaking their vaccination programs very seriously to get as many of their people uh, vaccinated and safe as fast as possible. So that gives us some upside. However, because the vaccine itself is still relatively new, I think a lot still depends on the efficacy of the vaccine. And as more data comes in through larger numbers of people getting vaccinated, hopefully we'll see good outcomes that will give us more optimism in the future. Tourism is seeing a bit of a downtime uh, right now. What are the plans then to ensure that you know the industry can get off to a running start, like can get off the ground running when the COVID-19 situation is under control, travel is allowed again and borders reopen? We've been doing that since last year already. In fact, that has been our number one priority to make sure that when tourism uh, recovers, that when borders begin to reopen, that uh, our tourism industry will be in the best position to capture the demand when people can travel again. And, and indeed, our data and our surveys do show us that uh, people around the world who want to travel do regard Singapore very highly. They want to come to Singapore either for leisure or business uh, reasons. So we want to make sure that when they can travel again, that our industries, our hotels, attractions are ready to take them. So what we've been doing over the, last, the past year, which we will continue to double down on this year, is to make sure that they have the capabilities to support, for example, safe uh, experiences, smaller, more exclusive experiences, contactless experiences uh, that enable and give the travellers a better sense of assurance when they come to Singapore. We will continue also our efforts at uh, making sure that our tourist guides, our travel agents are all skilled with the ability to uh, act as safe travel concierges to groups that come to Singapore to help them uh, manage and navigate through all the different uh, restrictions or requirements here in Singapore safely. Uh, we will also continue to work with our attractions, our MICE uh, event organizers to make sure that they, as they continue to reopen the attractions or MICE events, that they will do so in a safe and controlled manner as we test out new protocols for the future. Ultimately, what we want to do is to position our industries, our tourism industry as different, safe, trusted and innovative. They will position themselves differently from our competitors around the world. You just mentioned about safety and um, I think it was just yesterday that you told our sports colleagues that, you know, Singapore is able to provide a safety premium against the pandemic. You brought up uh, hybrid mice events. So and when you spoke to our sports colleagues, you know, there, there are upcoming uh, sporting events in Singapore as well that can cater to this demand for safe travel. So any examples you can share about how Singapore can reinvent itself moving ahead uh, to meet STB's you know, objectives in the next few years? 
Well, the, I can give you some broad examples of MICE events, right? Pre-pandemic, our business events, whether it's a trade show or exhibition or convention, it's free for all, right? Which leads to lots of people interacting with each other and Possibly, if you imagine an illness spreading quite quickly amongst all the participants, what we've had to do is to think very hard. How can we still enable uh, a high quality business event? Top minds, the exchange of knowledge, the exchange of ideas here in Singapore, while giving people some uh, assurance of safety that they won't be exposed to any sort of illness. It doesn't have to be COVID, it can be anything else, right? Uh, when they're interacting with other people there. So then design finding specific uh, safe management protocols for our business events, such as having cohorts, uh, redesigning the meeting spaces to create a bit more distance without compromising the quality of the conversation, the quality of the interactions. So having to think through on a setting by setting level, how to create uh, safer measures while keeping to maintaining a high quality of interaction. That has been our preoccupation. Kiv, just to uh, run off our discussion for today, you know, what's the one thing uh, that SDB has learned from the pandemic that transformed uh, the tourism industry and moving forward, you know, when the next crisis, uh, health or otherwise happens, uh, would SDB be more prepared? You know, how differently would it react? Well, I would say that we must always be prepared for the next crisis. Who knows when the next crisis will come? Next year, 10 years, 20 years down the road. So this idea of being prepared, being resilient, being capable, having a strong and capable workforce, uh, strong and capable industry partners in the tourism sector is vital uh, to, be, to prepare us for the next pandemic or the next crisis. And this means that we must learn the right lessons from this COVID pandemic. And hence, we are working very closely. STB is working very closely with the tourism sector in Singapore to make sure that we uh, absorb and inculcate the right lessons from COVID-19. Uh, we make sure that we retain the right capabilities to sustain us into the future and to prepare the next generation of tourism sector workforce for that future pandemic whenever that happens. So learning from this, inculcating the lessons, preserving the wisdom is very important for the future.